Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Cyberpunk. In our last video, we did end the day in Haywood working on some side quests. And in today's video, I want to work on more side content, but a, an actual quest from my quest log. But before we do that, I have relocated back to my apartment because I wanted to drop off some of the iconic guns that I've been carrying around with me because I, I keep running out of room. So I want, I want to keep one of the guns for Jackie. And then I'll put up the both Widowmakers, I guess. So bizarre. The Lexington I'll put up. Yes, that's fine. We'll keep Skippy because I can't drop that one off. No, I can't drop it off. It won't let me. And then my Dying Knight. I feel like those are the only weapons that I, I don't have any melee weapons on me. But what has filled in? One gun is filled in. That's... I gotta say, that's a little disappointing. But let's go to crafting and craft some iconic weapons, maybe? That's not iconic. That one's iconic. Yinglong, that's one I got in the last video. Any others that are iconic that I can... Oh, here it's Psalms 11.6, not 11.16. That's that's not the right words. Cutomatic, not iconic. None of those are iconic. None of those. I don't think there's anything down here that should... Buzzsaw. I thought I already... Okay, well, let's do the buzzsaw again. I thought I did that one already, but maybe I'm confusing it with something else. Okay. Got two more now, it looks like. I've got the Yang Long and then a Buzzsaw. Okay. I think those two got filled out. I would love to fill up my walls with all the things, but we'll 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 see if that actually is going to happen. Now, before I take off, I want to check my emails. I don't have anything else. Anything new on the net? I don't seem to have as much on the net access as I did like at the animals hideout. They seem to have way more stuff than I did. Like they had somebody running for mayor and it's not on mine. Yeah, Kang Tao AV crashes. Think twice next time before you buy Kang Tao products. One of the corporation's AVs recently crashed in the Badlands, despite the fact that it was a test flight. Liar. The accident remains a minor PR disaster. A serious corporation should not present. Um, yeah, that's that's it. I don't really know that I need to look at anything else. Although I am going to take a quick snooze so that it's daytime before we go do the quest that I have flagged to go do. But we'll look at that in a second. And I got a text message as well from a guy I did a gig for. Jake something or other. The guy whose car... We uh, we helped rescue or whatnot from the Sixth Street Gang. Got some sleep. I feel like I just need to go back to my apartment every so often and have a have a sleep to kind of pass time a bit better. Although, in retrospective, I probably shouldn't be passing time because the more time that goes by, the more uh, the more Johnny takes over V's brain, right? But anyway, so the text message I got was from Jake Estevez. Hey, got your number from El Capitan. Thanks for all your help with the car. Smiley face. Listen, there's just one last thing. I won't be coming back to NC anytime soon, and there's this sweet ride I had to leave behind. It'd be a damn shame for her to sit alone gathering dust and rust. It's a Quadra Turbo R. It's yours now. Go wild, have fun. Sending you coordinates. Check your map. It's near the train tracks out in Rancho. Cars in a garage near the loading station. Adios, V. Am I getting a quest for this, I hope? Did I get a quest for this? 
I don't think I got a quest for this. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it now. But anyway, the quest I am going to work on today is I fought the law where I need to meet with Elizabeth Perales. She was somebody I got a phone call from when I was out in the Badlands oh, several days ago now. But anyway, look, if a job starts like a classic whodunit, some femme fatale calls you up, refuses to give deeds, and just calls a meet, one of three things is going down. Okay, educate me, Johnny. You're dreaming. Probably not. You're scrolling a shit BD again, not, or someone's hazing you good. Think you can scratch the first two. I, yes, I'm pretty sure I can scratch the first two. So I didn't actually look on the map where it was, but let's hope there's a fast travel point somewhere nearby. Maybe, maybe not. What is nearby? Um, Arasaka Tower. Well, there is a tarot card and some other stuff I can do on the way, right? That could potentially work. Well, let's just go to Arasaka Tower. You know, the one that Johnny nuked, but it's totally fine now. <laughs> Hello? You don't know me, but you will. Name's Dino. Deal with downtown city center. V. Yeah, I know. Heard about you. Hot stuff. Need anything, you call me. Remember, Dino knows everybody. I must be in a new... I am in a new city center. Oh, it's not... Haywood. Okay. Um... I don't... Oh, and by the way, you're welcome to... Swing by any time. Club's always open to you if you need a stiff, dr stiff drink. Electric orgasm. Can't miss it. That's the name of your club. I mean, okay. But uh, tarot card seems very out of the way. We could go there, though. Um, and then an assault. And then another assault. Well, we'll do the roundabout out of the way tarot card. What is going on with the weather, though? That is the most distracting thing right now. Sir, you need to turn down your TV. It is really, really loud. I mean, like, it is 9, 17 a.m. and this is the weather. I mean, I'm not mad about it, but it's kind of crazy. So this is Arasaka, or is this the weather around Arasaka Tower? Because nuke, right? I just don't think radiation would go away in 50 years, but I'm not a nuclear scientist, so I don't really know. Um, was there a walkway up here? No, there's not. I have to go down and across some street. Okay, that's strange. Uh, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. <laughs> Vargas. Oh, hello? Oh, hi, it's uh, Cynthia, Pepe's wife. Hi. Remember me? Yeah. Uh-huh, I do. <laughs> I don't know what you told him, but thanks. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Look at V, saving marriages. 300,000 euro dollars. I feel like V is so rich right now. What? I'm sorry, sir. I have such bad walking problems. I mean, I'm not mad about the weather. It's really cool. Oh. A bag with purple ammo. We'll get to the we'll get to the quest today. Tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> it depends on... It's a new area of town. Oh wow. Was there anything else nearby that I should be stopping in? Probably not. I just... I need to not get so distracted. <laughs> There's a clothing store. You could do that one, too. It's like, it's like a really bad dust storm. A really, really bad dust storm.
What is this? It's us cracks. Speaking of which, body heat. There we go. Although I did listen to Body Heat in the last video, let's go back to Moro Rock. What are all these pillars? I don't understand. What's it all about? You are standing in a place of remembrance. Please act respectfully. Oh. Oh, Johnny. Odd graffiti. The tower. Um. Now, which one is it? Here. Nope. 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 Here it is, the tower. Is an omen of radical change, chaos and destruction. The lightning striking the tower signifies a return to the old order that lies buried under the ruins and a new order that will rise from it. It is a symbol of tragedy, apocalypse, and self-destruction. That pretty much sums up what happened here uh, for Johnny, right? Are you looking for someone? No, are you? I'm up to 20% on clock is ticking. Is that because I took a nap? <laughs> oh, Johnny, look what you did. In this spot in 2023, an explosion from a terrorist attack on the first Arasaka Tower claimed the lives Can of you like imagine? 12,000 victims. Over 70 <laughs> floors all crashing down. You're telling me. Yeah. My granddad was part of the rescue team. Said they were digging up bodies night and day. Some of the stories he told me. What he saw and heard. The cries coming up from under the rubble. I can't even imagine. Yeah. Is it like a, just a memorial out here for all of us? Is it that like the columbarium? Like the columns? Yeah. It looks like it. Oh gosh, Johnny. I get like down with the man and corpo and all that, like to a certain extent, but this is a little. The little one, by a little, I mean a lot extreme. Ugh. There's another exit over here. Does that go to a different place? You are standing in a place of remembrance. Please act respectfully. Just another columbarium style situation. Arasaka Memorial 2023. <laughs> Last year, we shall never forget. I imagine you will not ever forget. And I'm assuming they're saying roughly the same thing only in Japanese. I wonder if there's anybody's names to read. Oh, look, loot, cheese knives. We're gonna go back down inside and circle around. We're gonna go the long way to get there today, apparently. I'm surprised, to be honest. You know how Johnny pops in to say something every so often? I am surprised he hasn't done so. Granted, maybe I'm just not in the right spot. But I'm I'm very surprised that he has not done so. Why did it make me go all the way around? He could just tell me to turn around. That's strange. Hiroshi optics. Oh, there you go. There's the... There's wh what would have been the original Arasaka Tower. Maybe that's what the fast travel point is too, is the original one. So 
So we are at a assault in progress. Let's save. And then let's do this. A maelstrom. Okay. Ooh, I can... I can't initiate overload, really? right now where did you all come from oh let's overload that one there we go okay that was a little messier than i had originally planned on it being obviously but didn't die so all good um where's the evidence i need to get though Oh, it's right here. Let's grab that. Archive conversation between Matt, Duda, and Ah, oh, Dum Dum. We know Dum Dum well. Well, what? Supposed to send that connect. Fuck, sorry. Busy with that new Melitech toy. Forgot. Oh, that was the. I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, no worries. So you guys got to that Arasaka warehouse. You'll find Pete there, my chum. He'll shut off the cams, let you in. Shit, the gonk might even offer you tea and cookies. Once you're in, delete Pete's chums. Too many mouths to feed too few eddies. Sure, fuck it. I like to keep my iron warm. What we grabbing? 11 Yukimura, 10 cases of 10. 8 Mazamuni, 5 cases of 10 and then Kenshin, seven cases of 15. Make sure you take them out of the crates. Those things got transmitters. Cool, we'll handle it. And remember, if you got a clep, you clep right. Cause if they catch you, dude, we'll get them. Bingo. Okay, well, sorry, Dum Dum. I'm, I'm killing more of your chooms, but your name is still really awesome. Not gonna lie, it's great. And more for scrapping. What is that? Did I shoot that? Strange that the turrets didn't go off. No? I mean, there's just bodies littered all over, and I don't feel like it's my fault. I mean, some of them are. But not all of them. Sorry. Like, what these look like those drones that we dealt with on some quest out in the Badlands or something. Here's here's the bodies of the. I mean, bloody mess, right? I don't think I'm gonna get to re- oh, no, I can. And more there, and there, and there. Okay, now, we, well, may as well just do, there's a clothing store right there too. I really wanna go, but I probably should do my actual quest today. <laughs> Assault in progress is across the street. And we still have orange weather. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, this is salt in progress. Who are you guys? They're animals. Oh. Okay. Shit! We're getting ripped! You are! <clears throat> Sir. <gasps> Sir. I think you may have overdone it, sir. Just a wee bit. That seems really like an excessive amount of um of arm stays. Well that we'll call it that. Even though it's not that. Oh, this poor lady. Archive conversation between Amelia Morton and Joanne Cock. Well, Amelia's mad. Joanne, you bitch, I know everything. You planted those papers on me, you spiteful, selfish bitch. They fired me because of you. Why? Because I had the nerve to disagree with you? You stole my entire fucking career. They froze my accounts. They took my house. So you know what? Now I got nothing to lose. Oh, but you still do. I got proof you poisoned that whole damn town and some of our people too. So either you admit you planted those papers and get me back into Biotechnica, or I leak the docs and it'll be all over News 54 in the morning. Answer or I'll do it. You have until tomorrow. Joanne responds, I'll think about it. Who Who is this lady here? Is this Joanne or is this the one who was really angry? This is not the radio. Oh, it is. I was like, this does not sound like. Oh, archive conversation between Sergeant 1919 and Joanne. Oh. So Biotechnica Sergeant in service, find, and then Joanne says, find and neutralize Amelia Morton. I repeat, find and neutralize Amelia Morton. Former employee, she now poses a second degree threat to Biotechnica. Sharing this information with any other corporation or the NCPD is strictly forbidden. And then the Sergeant responds, copy initiating operation. So that was Amelia. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, there's speakers going on and okay I can I can only do one radio at a time my brain explodes otherwise wait 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 is this the fancy schmancy store it's the fancy it's the jinguji store that all those people are always talking about well we have to go there I'm sorry I'm sorry, Ms. Perales. I'm going to need you to wait another few minutes, please. I need to go shopping. <gasps> oh, my God. It's totally like Cyberpunk Gucci, isn't it? I mean... I that new suit is calling to me. It's eccentric, sure, but in a subtle way. Snakeskin and silver? A lovely combination. Timeless. It would certainly suit you. Hmm. Zane says I shouldn't go for anything too loud. Oh, for heaven's sake. Buy it. Treat yourself. Worst case, you give it away. Or throw it out. Soon enough, Semiganic will be out and you'll be sad you never got a chance to wear it. Hmm. Fair point. Ah, <sighs> Decisions, decisions. I, I've never... I... Okay, I've never shopped at Gucci. Ever. It's too expensive. For clothes! Very corpo here, right? Is this where Gillian Jordan gets fitted out? Jinguji? Doesn't Jillian Jordan get herself fitted out here? We try to protect our clients' privacy, but I'd be lying if I said no. Well, I want to buy some expensive clothes. Always wondered what it'd feel like to spend a ludicrous amount of eddies on threads. And you come to the right place. Welcome to Jinguji. An oasis of bongo for those who crave perfection. Oh, there's a skirt. There's a... There's cool sunglasses. They have guns. Well, there's very cool sunglasses. We'll take that one. Oh, quick hack upload timer. I'll take that. I don't see myself wearing any of these skirts. Seems very impractical. And a suit top and heels. Carbon free. Oh, you can preview the item. There we go. 
I mean, I don't dislike the look, but they somehow managed to chop all of V's hair off. That's strange. <laughs> would you would you like some more coffee, ma'am? <laughs> I mean, that's what I feel like. It's it's an outfit like that. But here's a jacket. Oh no, it's all zipped up. Not not gonna work. She's got to go to work in an office. Okay, the the dresses. I don't hate it, but I don't like it either. No. No. I do. I don't hate the sunglasses. Although. Uh, no, those don't sit good on our face. Okay, well, that's that's it, I guess. We'll save. And then I'll go into my inventory and put this one on. All right. Thank you very much, sir. That was that was a that was a great distraction. Okay, we are nearly there. Let's at least get to Elizabeth today. Oh, he is. He's peeing in public. Just making sure it's on the right station. Game likes to change it for me. Alright, just double checking. Nope, there's no database entries. Let's quick save. Where is this lady at? Hey, watch your tongue. What? Oh. Are you V? Yeah. Please, step in the vehicle. You don't want to see any ID or anything like that? Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. I, I, he's the guy running for mayor, yeah. Perales? The one running for mayor of Night City? The one. So the one who was DA until recently, but just vaulted into a seat on the city council. I gather you now understand why discretion is of the utmost importance. Uh, nice, nice to meet all nice of you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales? Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. What's the job? So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. Mm -hmm. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. Uh, his death was no secret. The media missed something? It was all over the news. <sighs> of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. There was an attempt on his life days before his passing? There was? Far as I remember, someone tried to zero Ryan a few days before his death. The NCPD sees no link. They're saying it was a random cyber psycho attack. And oh. claiming the mayor died of natural causes. Causes unrelated to the attack. It's in the official reports. Ryan died at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. This got anything to do with the upcoming election? These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. Whoa. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. There, I think a car just drove right through us. What makes you think the cops got it wrong? What makes you think the cops got him wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber-psycho attack on a BD. 
Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Where did you get it? Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. DD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. Oh, okay, let me see the scroll. All right, see what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things, alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? <laughs> My brain too, isn't it? No. And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. There's the mayor and that was Holt back there. It's weird, I've never done one of these without Judy, right? Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference. Are you just gonna let him in? Oh! Well, that sounds like a cannon. Oh, did he die at this point? Okay, well, we need to go into editing mode and we need to restart. Cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by the mess rides, but eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to city. Okay. So, fast forward. Let's make it PG. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. You know this, V. We we did a thing. Switch layer. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Out of practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any intersynapse zaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. Yeah, Johnny. I'm like, you can just say no. They left literally seconds before the attack. Looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Okay, so we'll... Nope, fast forward. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Oh, I need to come over here. Oh yeah, the cop comes bursting in. He doesn't get stopped before that. Hold it's it. very strange. Stop right there! Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Glitch was no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. What? That really happened to you? 
No, but it could have. <laughs> You're so full of it, Johnny. Come on. There we go. Pretty. Prime. Do it after the conference. <laughs> Oh! A tune. Don't recognize it. Tune? Woody's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Yeah. Could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels in an ugly ass suit. Know that? Or just talking out your ass again? Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. Huh. Oh, well, well. Okay, well, I think that is where I'm going to pause things today because I can exit the brain dance tomorrow and then we can spend quality time talking to the new the new potential new mayor who's hiring me to like solve a mystery. I some detective work. That sounds like fun. But anyway, we will continue along with that tomorrow and and see what happens next. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new cyberpunk video.